Marine Parade condo can buy or buy buy. Hi, my name is Alan from Alan Re Property. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As promised, I will do a buy or buy buy series for Marine Parade. In today's video, I'm going to talk about private condominiums in the Marine Parade area. I will study the condos along my morning run, which will center around the upcoming Marine Parade and Tanjong Katong MRT station along the Thompson East Coast Line. I will be covering the performance of child condominiums in Marine Parade. To make my life easier, I will only compare them for the last five years, which is from 2018 to 2023. Before we commence, do you want to make a guess which condominium will outperform and which will fare poorly? Here, pause this video for a while and think about it. Remember, not all condos perform the same. You will make the right choice, you will make your riches. Let's dive straight into Marine Parade with the poorest performer first. Firstly, we have Emberscape. Are you surprised? This is a 109 units development that TOP in 2017. It's located just next to Tanjang Katong MRT station. This freehold apartment average price was 2194 PSF. Today in 2023, the average price is 2280 PSF. This means it has made a pathetic 4% capital gain. Next on the list is not surprisingly Silver Sea. Silver Sea is located along Marine Parade Road and within walking distance to Parkway Parade. This is a 99 years leasehold apartment completed in 2014. The return today is 12%. Not too awesome, but at least it's not losing money. If we trace back the date from launch, there are a fair number of profitable and unprofitable transactions. Those that lose money are mainly those that paid a premium back during launch. Can you imagine they are already selling 2,000 per square feet back in those days? If you ask me how to exit even with a sea view. Third on the list is Coralis. It is located next to I-12 Katong. This freehold condo has 127 units and TOP in 2013. It achieved a 13% return to date. If you have bought during launch, prices are on an upward trajectory. Most owners will have made healthy profit to date. Next, the Cape is along Amber Road. It is a freehold condo with 76 units. It achieved a 14% return since 2018. However, what we know is prices is on a downward trend since launch. Anyway, most owners are losing money. I mentioned the Cape in my top 10 unprofitable transactions. You can refer to that video to find out more. I'm pretty surprised that the 32 years old Amber Point achieved a 15% return to date. On further investigation, there is very limited transaction and there is no transaction in 2023. This may not resemble its current performance. Here, what if there are any units put up for sale now? I'm very sure it will touch 1,800 per square feet for the freehold condo with a direct sea view and an upcoming MRT station outside. How to go wrong on that? Interestingly, next on the list at 20% return is the 99 years leasehold, the Shaw Residence. Fire's organization bought this freehold Rose Garden on block site for 169 million or 423 PSF PPR back in 2006. They subsequently launched it in 2010 between 1000 PSF to 1500 PSF with an attractive profit margin on a 99 years lease. Not freehold tenure hall. What does this mean? This means the market can accept 99 years. Next on the list is the east side. This is a small project with 32 units along Juche Road. It TOP in 2006. It achieved a decent 25% return. This means that small project can also make money as long as it has the right attributes, such as livable size, proven location, and no doubt, within 1km from popular primary school. Marine Brew did amazingly well at 26%. This is a capital land project with mainly small apartments and townhouse. Most of the owners that bought from launch profit with an average of 300000 
for the one bedroom. The opening of the MRT station will further support the price. The Palladium is along Brooks Road. It is a freehold condo with just 43 units. It achieved a respectable 30% to date. Again, small project, but they are priced for their freehold tenure and Marine Parade locality. One of my favorite condo in the east is the Sea View. It's sitting on one of the largest plots of freehold land in Marine Parade. Prices have shoot up 31% to date. If you look at the price chart over time, it is always moving upwards. This means big project on freehold tenure with good design will always be sought after. After all, this is a Whitlock property project. I can still recall back in 2016, I happened to bring a buyer there when there was a lawsuit against the developer. I told the buyer to commit as any bad publicity was good news to buyer. Apparently, he has other opinions. Otherwise, today he will be sitting on a pot of gold. Spring at Katong is a freehold condo along Salon Road. Interestingly, it achieved a 37% return. Let us take a look at the most recent transaction. A three-bedroom unit was purchased in 2018 at 1321 PSF and it was sold at 1858 PSF in 2023. This means the owner made 670000 or 7.2% analyzed return in just five years. Impressive result. Lastly, the best performer is none other than the aging King's Mansion. It achieved an impressive 59% to date. Why is it doing so well? Well, I can only assume that it started from a very low base. Buyers see value in it, and secondly, it has on potential. If you take a look at the last two transactions, there is a huge spike in prices. Did the buyers overpay for them? Did they pay an on premium? Only time will tell. In conclusion, what can we learn from here? Firstly, not all new launch condos make good return. In my opinion, Marine Blue did well. Secondly, some small projects also can outperform as long as they have the right attributes, such as location, design, and near good schools. Thirdly, 99 years condo don't seem to do do well as compared to their freehold counterparts. What does this mean for upcoming 99 years condominium in the surrounding area? Lastly, don't say I lost all older condos like the Palladium, the Sea View, Spring at Katong, and King's Mansion all make significant gains. Once again, it proved that all freehold condos can also do very well in the resale market. Here, I hope I have given you a different perspective on price movement in Marine Parade. Once again, I think Marine Parade is a pretty livable place to live in. You have heritage food, such as this famous Tao Kwa Pok that can be found in Diamond Food Center, to the iconic Red House that is now a popular cafe. You also have old school retailers that can be found in Roxy Square, to modern restaurants found outside Hotel Indigo, to Ai Chiao Katong, to the many F&B outlets along East Coast Road. Plus, you have this iconic hair saloon along Salong Road that deserve to be preserved. I hope that National Heritage Board can consider my proposal. Along my run, I enjoy visiting places of worship to better understand their religion. Today, I'm blessed to visit this Hindu temple. This temple has a history of more than 150 years. I sought the temple caretaker to take photos and observe the ritual. It is an eye-opening experience to be immersed in the temple. If you are free, you should drop by. They are open to the general public. Anyway, I find this wording on the wall very meaningful. I would like to delegate it to all of you. Serve with an open heart and the rewards will come. That's all. I hope you enjoyed my video. Appreciate if you can like, share and subscribe. See you around in Marine Parade.